let me just introduce Sophia Espinosa Flor. Sophia is a land and water tenure specialist with a PhD in socioeconomics. And her work has focused on analyzing the social and cultural factors that influence land and water transactions, tenure rights, legal pluralism, and rights that are associated with land and water tenure. Recently, she's been focusing on mainstreaming tenure in the water sector, including assessments in Senegal, Sri Lanka, and Rwanda. And she's currently supporting the Global Water Tenure Dialogue, led by FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization, and its partners. And um, thank you so much for the organizers and for all the people joining us today. Uh, for me, it's really a pleasure to share with you an amazing and innovative initiative FAO is supporting with all of his partners and is around a global dialogue on water tenure for food security, climate resilience, and social inclusion. So what is this global dialogue and why it is important? Next slide, please. Uh, sorry, no, that's oh, that's not the last version. I'm so sorry. Uh, don't worry. Let's try. Let's make it work with that. So, please, second slide. So, what is water tenure governance important? So as you know, approximately 10% of the global population live in areas facing high and crucial water stress. And as we look ahead to 2050, it is estimated that global demand for water will substantially increase for 30%. This makes the issue of allocation of water all the more crucial. So understanding water tenure as the relationship whatever legally or customarily defined between people as individuals or groups can help us understand how customary tenure is also important this can help us better understand uh, how people access and use water in practice and to ensure water access for all users particularly in rural areas and support food security and livelihoods, increase security and encourage investment in water infrastructure, increase resilience to climate change. And finally, this can allow us to avoid, prevent and address potential and existing water conflicts. Because as you know, many people in rural areas rely on customary and informal water arrangements, and they may have very little water security. Next slide, please. So how did we get to this, let's say, idea of a global dialogue around water tenure? Uh, let's see, this is started for the negotiation of the voluntary guidelines for responsible governance of tenure of land, forest, and fisheries, known in English as the BGGPs. For our Francophone colleagues, these are Le, le DV or Le Directive Volontaire. Um, which has been an important instrument to improve equitable access to land resources, particularly for vulnerable and marginalized population. This has been a really big step for the international community and for all the indigenous populations to have an instrument to protect their rights. Unfortunately, water was not included in this text, but FAO and its partners, based on these principles, and still convinced that these principles can also ensure access to all users, uh, FAO continue working on um, water and water tenure, exploring this concept and building knowledge around this. This is how in 2019, a group of experts come together to think about how to, um, uh, how to, enforced these and came with the definition I give you in my first slide. For FAO, one of the main also milestones around water tenure was the launching of the project Knowing Water Better that allowed us to build, to generate knowledge, build capacities and network around water tenure. Understanding water tenure, not only, as I explained before, not only as the legal, 
part of uh, water, but also as all the customary arrangements around that. With all this work, uh, last year, we FAO got the mandate from the, food, uh, the Committee on Agriculture to start a global dialogue on water tenure in collaboration with other UN partners and to start exploring principles around responsible governance of water tenure. Finally, this year, we launched this dialogue on March during the UN Conference of Water. Next slide, please. So what is the idea around this uh, global dialogue on water tenure? The first expert meeting that was held in Rome last year, we uh, agreed that this principle we have to be, of course, a multi-stakeholder dialogue, including government, civil society, pastoral communities, indigenous people's groups, and others. It will have to build and to have the objective to have a non-binding principles and to also build on criteria for implementation, action, uh, action and, uh, and monitoring. The, the overall goal of this global consultative process is to develop as a set of global principles for responsible governance of tenure, water tenure that can support countries and their institutions to improve governance of water as a mean of realizing food security, social inclusion, and foresting climate change resilience. And of course, these in the framework of realizing the SDGs. Next slide, please. How is FAO going to support this process and how we invite you all to engage? Please um, note that these, we want this to be a bottom-up approach. So we invite you all to, uh, to also um, contribute to the efforts on building knowledge, capacities, and network around water tenure. This can, and uh, it will um, feed the process that, um, is going to aim for national dialogues that then are going to feed regional consultations and finally inform the, the global uh, dialogue on water team. We invite you uh, to build synergies with other ongoing initiatives. For the moment, I'm just gonna mention Colombia and Thailand where, is, where FAO is going to pilot these um, national consultations. Uh, we, invite you as we are here to involve in the experts group on water tenure. I know all the panelists you're going to hear today, they are already part of this, but if you um, are interested, please uh, try to reach us. And to find strategic linkages with other global policy process, such as the global action agenda, all the activities around the voluntary guidelines or the Rome Wire Dialogue. And hopefully we, um, uh, we like to invite you to an um, event that is still not confirmed, but we hopefully will have a site event uh, on October this year. Next slide, please. And with that, I thank you so much. Uh, please note this is going to be a long process and we need the support of all actors. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for your attention, and please uh, don't hesitate to contact us and to visit our website. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Sophia, um, for your presentation and really for you know, helping us to understand more what water tenure is and this that it's about legal and customer relationships. You know, it, yeah, it's fascinating and well done at bringing water into tenure on land, forestry, and fisheries. For those of in the water sector, it's obvious, but it's a great job in bringing that in. 